Well, good morning, guys. It's uh, Sunday, uh, the day after I uh, caught all those bass out here. So I'm going to get back out here today and see if I can catch some of these crappie. I started in the mouth of the creek here. Looks like there's quite a few boats fishing here. And uh, as soon as I stopped, I did see a school of crappie under the boat. So I'm kind of back out in the river channel this morning. Temperatures dropped a little bit, 55 degrees this morning. And uh, looks like some of these fish are still staged up in the mouth of the creek so uh i'm gonna look around out here and see if we can catch a few of them all right guys i have come all the way back to the last third of the creek and uh I'm starting to see a few fish i'm gonna do a little fishing in here and see if this is see if this is crappie and uh maybe we catch a few i didn't see anything out deep i did see a couple of fish but it wasn't enough to make me want to stay there so we'll see what we can find here Of the day. So I came up in this back third of this creek and uh, the fish is sitting on a lay down. Looks like there's a little school of them there. And uh, I believe that's a male crappie. It doesn't look like a female. We'll see if we can catch a few of these and we'll keep looking. We might try playing with our electronics some if we get an opportunity. you can see I just I switched up to a, a rod with a cork on it with a weedless jig because there's a tree laying perpendicular to my boat out there so I'm having to drag this over the top of it Right at the boat. <laughs> There's another little crappie. Look, another male crappie. Hi right, guys, so we re rig with a little eighth ounce jig with a little weed guard on it so I don't get hung on that stump every cast because they're sitting underneath it. And I'll see if I can catch a couple this way. Alright, I'm going to play with our electronics a little bit. There's some crappie here and some brim looks like and uh, they're not biting very good so uh, looks like a good opportunity to see what my other electronics look, look like looking at them and I actually saw these with my side scan when I was coming in here so when we get ready to leave we'll look at that too alright so let's see what we're looking at here I don't know if you guys can see it there's one right there above that tree get the boat turned in a direction there's a couple sitting on the bottom right there there's a tree right here somewhere the boat swinging all over the place with this crazy wind we got today all right well Or 
course now I'm not gonna get a good picture let's see what it looks like on the sides on 360 all right you guys can see the trees over here this is my little waypoint I dropped on it when I saw the fish really hard to see on that 360 but there's a couple little tiny black dots and a couple little white dots on there that are actually the fish let's see if we can use the trolling motor and get a little closer to them and get a little better view of them One going along the bottom. There's another one. There they are right there. You can see that big old glowing dot under that tree right there. And there's some more right there. Hard to see. <coughs> Excuse me. right amongst them all right I don't know if you guys can pick them out or not but you can see the fish Right here under this, there's a tree right here. There's one right there showing up. There's a couple right there showing up. See them swimming around down there? There's a big old tree laying here and they're sitting underneath it. Let's see what it looks like on this 360. Ah. So you can see the tree pretty good. Really can't see the crappie all that great. Let it circle back around. Yeah, it's just really hard to pick out the fish on that. It does a great job of showing you the structure, but gives you a good overall view of it but unless there's this just a whole bunch of them it's just really hard to to pick them out now i have seen on larger schools when they're suspended off the bottom i've seen them show up on this you know as little black dots and i can see a couple little dots right there could be could be it hitting the crappie but i tell you what let's uh let's pull my trolling motor up and uh, put this thing in perspective mode Let's see what all this looks like in perspective mode. So give me a minute or two here. All right, guys, now we're in perspective mode. I may have to adjust the angle a little bit. And at the end of the day, I'll show you guys how I set up my, my live scope transducer so that uh, I could change the angle for perspective mode because we're out here in almost 12 feet of water and that thing's only shooting a 20 degree slice out of the water. So you have to adjust the up and down angle of it to uh, be able to get it hit the bottom where you need it to. So let's ease up here to these stumps and see what they look like. There's a stump right there in front of us. move around to be able to see my graph and work the trolling motor and get you a better shot once I get up here. 
get situated. Boat settle in. Come on, boat. You see that wonderful spotlight spinning the boat in all kind of different directions. All right, so I'm gonna sit here with you and stare at this for a second. You can see the log down there on the bottom. See if I see anything. I don't see anything moving around. Doesn't look like I can see any fish. Zoom the range out a little bit. Yeah, so there you go, guys. It kind of similar to the 360, but I believe that 360 has a, a little better quality of an image if you're just looking for structure. I haven't tried this up in real shallow water. You know, you might be able to see some fish moving around up in really shallow water. And if I happen to come across some fish real shallow, then of course we'll, uh, we'll film that and show you what it looks like. But I don't know. Let me pull this thing up and change the angle a little bit and see if that makes any difference. It looks like it I can put it a little bit lower of an angle. So let's try that. Let me sleep this thing for a second. Guys, you can see what I did here. I'll show you this better when I get home, but I actually mounted this thing on a transducer bracket so that I could change the angle. All right. You guys see that? I'm trying to, trying to shade the screen best I can with my shadow. Let me get up over the top of it. All right, so. Changing the angle gave us a little better picture. I still can't, still can't see any fish moving around down there. You guys see anything? I don't see anything swimming. Maybe if I was in shallower water. There's a shadow right there moving. There's probably a fish right there. You see that? Could be the boat swinging, but I believe that might be a fish. Definitely not the greatest for being in 12 foot of water. I would say this would have more of an advantage if you were up really shallow. And we'll have to try it again when we get up here shallow one day. All right, there's a shadow right there. That's enough of that. Let me get back to fishing. All right, guys, let's get back to fishing. Let's see if we can catch a couple. There you go, guys. It's been a struggle. Hey, guys, I got in the back of this cove. I'm getting almost to the back of it. I'm starting to see quite a few schools of them out here in about 10 foot of water. Really hard to catch though, so I'll see if I can catch a few on film. Nice copy, guys. I didn't get him on film. I think I'm going to weigh this one, see how much he weighs. Two, four. That's it. Two pounds, four ounces. That's a nice crappie there. Has not spawned yet. Good crappie. Let's see if I can get a couple on film.
There he is. What a bass. <laughs> no wonder. I just can't get away from the bass for some reason. I got bass on the brain, I guess. There's a whole pile of them right here in front of me. Oh, I can't stand it. I got a real, I got a real bass bait through there one time. Oh, he's got a spot on his tail. It's a red bass. Not big bass, but you know what? On a windy day when I have struggled to catch crappie on camera, uh, it's nice to take a break, have a little fun. This one is barely any big ones. Well guys, the first school of bass I've actually found with a live scope. <laughs> Just had a randomly sitting out in the middle of a cove on the bottom. For no apparent reason. Alright, we just keep sitting catching them every cast. Oh, 
one just hit it. Oh, there he is, I got him that time. A lot of little ones. A bunch of little barrel bass. But you know what? When you're catching them almost every cast. Still pretty fun. Small, I can't hardly get the bait in her mouth. looking bass. I can't believe that fish has spawned. Almost looks like he has. That is an ugly fish. That is not my prettiest specimen that I've ever caught. He looks like he's been up shallow or he just had a bad life. Hold on. the trolling motor. Another oh, nice one. I'm getting fatter. Right there. The grow one. And guys, this is a completely different place from where I caught them the other day. I just found these fish at random looking for crappie in the live scope. Bass. 
jumped off you see <laughs> another two and a half three pounder I bet you we got that one on video I ought to pick up that jig and throw it out there and see if we went out there to bite it just because I love set the hook with that jig Alright, might have to get out of here. Getting about time to go. All of the day. Uh oh. Blue's not working. Oh, there he was. Oh, got him. Ooh, oh, that was the big one. Oh no, I finally got him to bite and lost him. Oh my gosh. I knew there was at least one big one down there. He started to pull drag. Golly. He's pulling around, playing with these little fish, and going to miss a big one. God damn it. I stuck him too, so he's going to bite again. Oh, I saw a big fish down there. Big one though. It's a better fish though. Not the one that was pulling drag, but this hook that got about so dull, I can't keep them hooked. I'm gonna get off right here at the boat. Here we go, guys. Another nice one. A good three pound fish there, three and a half. No kidding, I did. That last one, that last one I had was, I set the hook and he started off the other way and started to start peeling drag before the hook popped out. Be a bunch of them. Any of them as I've caught to it. Well, I only saw one really big one with my live scope, so I don't know if I'm gonna catch a really big one now. I think that was the one I had. It's just getting ridiculous. <laughs> Little one. Pretty fish though. I don't know how many of them are down there? Must be a bunch of them. Hey right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Appreciate you joining me today. You know, uh, I really tried to get out here and find some crappie. I did catch a, I don't know, three or four. I didn't catch very many. I did see quite a few. The wind was just relentless out here on the lake today. I had to be blowing easily 15 miles an hour and it just didn't seem like I could get out of it. It didn't matter where I went. I finally came back up in this cove that I was in earlier today just because it was the only place I could get out of the wind and I was seeing a few crappie uh, right before I came came across these bass and uh, I did catch you know one or two. I showed you that that 
one a little over two pounds I caught that had not spawned yet, but I suspect a lot of these crappie are up on the bank spawning. Um, they're not nearly as thick out here in the open water as they have been. So uh, I enjoyed it though, caught a lot more bass. I ended up making two crappie slash bass videos this weekend, but I hope you enjoyed watching me catch them just the same. Have a great afternoon.